Let's talk about the current meta in Marvel Snap. What's going on this past week, past day, 24 hours. Going to look at a tool from Marvel Snap Zone that gives you the greatest decks for the last 24 hours. The meta does change pretty quickly, so let's just jump in. It might be changed by the time we get there. Yes, I'm ridiculous. All right, so we're going to look at two tools. We're going to look at untab.gg, and we're also going to look at Marvel Snap Zone. These decks are in the last 24 hours they are currently update this is a premium feature i highly recommend you checking out if it's within your monthly budget so starting over on untapped.gg they've got the ranked conquest you can do different things with player rank pools sort by all that sort of thing i've got average cubes in there you can do game count and win rate i personally like average cubes once we get into conquest obviously it'll jump over to win rate so when i look at this again i'm doing latest patch right so we're looking from 80 to 100 i'm actually Sort of shocked that the top one here was an high evo deck uh with Eliath. so Eliath, i think is one of the stronger cards that we've got in game it's also got wave i really like what this is kind of combining it's a lockdown type situation with a strong final play where you're hoping to either a Eliath or hulk now if you wave you're really only going to play a Eliath or hulk if you don't have wave or those cards you're really just looking to play gosh at that point you've probably determined if you've won or lost to be honest with you given the quality of the other cards you really need to try to get this locked in no pun intended uh by three four and so you know that what you're happening with five because if you're looking at playing any of these cards on six you're probably in a bad shape cerebro three is ravana in this no it's your old school uh cerebro th three with the iron man mystique uh type situation uh where bass dings them this was something a lot of people talked about where they had hoped that Ravana would still reduce the cost of cards like Mystique and Iron Man after they've been basted. That does not happen. I think that would be super cool if that was the case, but I understand why it might not be seen. But I was really surprised to see that high of an average rate for Cerebro 3. Move, still doing solid. Move with Eliath. That's really interesting. Again, Wave built into that. High Evo yet again. This one has got the... Now, Doom with Wave, I feel like you got a little bit more flexibility on that six besides just potentially a Lyath or Hulk. I mean, when I look at this, I wonder if, is there a card I could drop? I would probably drop Daredevil in this for a Doom just to give me some more flex options in that final play. I know that Daredevil helps you with that Professor X play on five, but that's really the only reason he's in there. And frankly, if you're playing Jeff, I think that you need to, this is going to sound terrible to say, but you got to start learning where and when to play Professor X. Sometimes you're going to be burnt. Yes, Daredevil is nice, but it's a crutch that I think you want to learn to ditch and eventually get a little bit better with so you know where to play and build up. I think Doom is a much better option there. More high Evo. This, you know, this is sort of crazy. I did not expect to see as much high Evo here. Uh, I'm not seeing a lot on the ladder, but, you know, apparently they're doing pretty well here with uh, uh, their average cubes. There's here's a Dark Hawk list. No Ravana, by the way. Again, she's, I think I've said it in my videos, I think she needs to have an OTA. This is just a strong Dark Hawk Dino. I mean, that's just kind of what it is with Zabu. You got Dark Hawk Shang-Chi and Nick Fury for a bit cheaper. I definitely dig it. You got the Cosmo to protect the Devil Dino, potentially the Dark Hawk as well. Eliath Lockdown. Uh, big fan of the Eliath Lockdown situation. It's a mixture of those Guardians as well which is kind of fun uh you know you could certainly storm on three and then you could Groot, drax or star lord after that which i think is pretty solid you've got the juggernaut i think th this actually would look like a fun deck to play when i look at this i'm a big fan of lockdown type decks i like Eliath a lot i think sort of dictating where people could play and guessing with the guardians this could be a lot of fun i would highly recommend trying this one out for anybody who can sort of understand where to get those guardians played late in the game discard with black cat well she just got her ota over up to a four six uh, i think that's pretty nice ghost rider in this version i think that makes sense so that way you could potentially bring back hat back down though i'm a little wondering when you would play ghost rider in this i guess it's probably a backup it's a nice backup i mean it, what's it a, essentially a 412 but you're not playing i mean if you all cards that you've got here on four you're gonna play drac on five, you're going to play likely Moda. I guess you could save Modok for six and do it that way and then not stress about it. But this is a fun, interesting discard deck. I'd maybe ditch Blade as well. I know they reworked him. He's a bit better, but I'm, I'd am i still rather get something a little bit. I don't, what would I rather have there? I'd maybe consider a high card. I don't know. That's a tough call there. I guess Blade maybe is fine. A general Eliath. This is this is actually more of a Sauron deck with Eliath. Makes sense. It's a nice backup compared to some of the other stuff if you don't get those lines. This is actually, again, 
this is another deck that I would love to play. I think it looks a lot of fun, especially when you get to play on with Sauron. If you don't get to play Sauron and you've got Elias sitting there, you have the chance to win pretty easily. I mean, especially when you've got a Red Skull. I mean, you're doubling things. It'd be interesting to see if you could play a wave into this. Invisible Woman, I don't know. I, I'd maybe lean into ditching an Invisible Woman and then considering a wave maybe. I don't know. Maybe not. I don't know. I like the potential for limiting that last turn, but you also potentially want a Taskmaster and maybe you use one of these high ones if you Sauron. So I don't know if I love that necessarily, but you can also Invisible Woman and hide Maul behind her and get some other cards behind it as well, which is pretty nice. Galactus. So there's been a lot more talk about Galactus. Uh, Orca is interesting. I have not seen an Orca in a Galactus. I wonder how that did. Anybody play uh, Orca with Galactus? Let me know in the comments below. But there has been a resurgence of people getting frustrated with Galactus. I think probably due to Eliath. I played it. I enjoy it. I lost plenty. Uh, I think it's still, I don't know. I mean, it's something they're evaluating. My personal opinion is it's fine. I think it's its just one of those dynamics of the game that changes the game fundamentally. Everyone's going to have their own opinion on it. I don't think one opinion's right or wrong, but I think Galactus is fine for the game personally. I think Elias is fine for the game personally. Professor X and Storm do similar but different things about, you know, location, locking them down, not letting people play certain things. Granted, Jeff helped with that. So uh, we got some more high Evo, Eliath Ramp, where you're just getting that Electro Wave, potentially getting things sooner. You, they've got a Zola in this version to move around. They've got an Odin potentially for that Black Panther as well. Could be kind of fun. All right, let's look at, I want to look at just after 100. Let's Now let's see how much, this is the post infinite rank. I want to see where everybody's at. What is everybody playing? All right, so now this is the first time that we've seen Loki. That was one of the things, I just want to drop to 90 for a second. Is there any Loki? That's interesting. There's Loki. So in that last one we looked at, there was no Loki, which I was sort of surprised about. Now that I look at this one, it's like, yeah, Loki. Everyone was raging about Loki. Where's Loki? So here we go. Loki, We've again, we're sorting by average cubes. 0.64 is pretty solid. We've got a high Evo again with Legion. Uh, Eliath, no Loki, doing pretty well. I wonder if some of this might have to do with the collector change. Maybe some of these numbers have dropped off a little bit. I mean, here, the, again, but this is the, that's that Loki particular. So after Infinite, which I used to say this didn't matter, everyone screw around, but I think while some people might prioritize it more than others, I think generally speaking that people take after infinite more seriously and looking at these decks is much more reliable for looking at what is a current meta uh high evo again we talked about that Eliath uh, just playing against sauron Eliath. i don't i hate that it's called Eliath. it should be sauron Eliath. like come on like i evo i this is this one's Eliath for some reason like okay hella 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 okay anything special about this hella no not necessarily silver samurai helping out no stature though do we have anything that's why are we silver samurai in here what am i miss i mean i guess i don't know i this is uh, there's some cards in here i don't agree with with this hella it seems like it's confused about what it wants to pull i would hate to jubilee a swarm or a blade i silver samurai my hella like why am i doing that why am i taking a card away from my opponent outside of just being annoying and if you're going to play that sort of deck, let's lean into it with Black Bolt stature, that type of thing, Gambit. Let's be a true, like, destroyer of the other player's cards. I, I think, yeah. Uh, so some of that I don't really like, even though the average cubes is solid. Some more high Evo. Is there a wave in this? Yeah, there's a wave in that one. I think that's pretty solid. We talked about that a little bit earlier. Galactus. This Galactus, uh, was that an old Spider-Man? I guess, I guess maybe a Spider-Man can move some things around. That could be fun and allow for you to get your Galactus in a spot that it's a little bit stronger, maybe. We'll see. I don't know. I also could see Ravana potentially being in a Galactus deck. Now that I think about it, you get a Hobgoblin a little bit earlier. You probably have to ditch the Green Goblin, but there's a. I think there's a line there. Shuri, basically a Sauron again with Shuri. Galactus. This is just sort of a destroy Galactus. I still don't have Negasonic. That's crazy. Alive lockdown move. All right, so you got a lot of the similar same ones. Anything with a crazy win rate on, on these? I just want to see win rates. Uh, 61. No, so all right. Nothing that's like blowing the roof off of the actual uh, latest win rate. Now let's look at Conquest before we jump over to Marvel Snap Zone. Let's see. We can change tier. We don't want to do Proving Ground. Uh, let's start with Silver. Sort by win rate. I don't care about... I don't care about the battle count. It gives me some minimum amounts. So let's see. High Evo is dominating. 
again doom wave uh Eliath. i evo just wreaking some havoc here Eliath ramp that makes uh, with goliath or with goliath with galactus all right uh, i could see that being pretty solid if you can i mean you get doom out early odin all sorts of different things devil dino is an interesting card here i guess you're not necessarily looking to play a whole bunch iron lad i really like this looks fun i look at this i like the curve there i like what's going on you're not playing a ton of cards which builds up your devil dino uh you've got a leader to potentially bail you out on that final turn as things don't go well i like this i think this is fun i i would be interested in playing that galactus in general again with the orca all of these are si more high evo geez iron patriot all of these are 60 plus percent win rates iron patriot with a lot man Eliath is everywhere Eliath is just in every single one of these decks so obviously if you missed out on Eliath, keep an eye out for the one that's going to happen in the future we've got spotlight tier list like and subscribe if you want to check those out in the future but Eliath is definitely something that i think people are going to want if you missed out on that spotlight and one's coming sure it's the sauron one again Eliath ram all right we're starting to get into the 50s here uh let's jump back up to the top let's look at gold gold i love gold Ooh, now in gold iron patriot takes a huge jump wow that's almost 70 percent in 300 battles okay okay what's going on here this is that brood surfer uh absorbing man situation uh also with iron lad uh mr sinister i thought this fell off a bit i wonder if this is still doing well out there they nerfed absorbing man you know a hair i would be interested in checking this out that's a pretty good win rate this this deck was a menace it might still be doing really well it seems well i'm going to be interested to see what a marvel snap zone says on the current stuff obviously this is the latest patch so it's you know a little bit into the data versus the 24 hour type thing but uh this this you might want to be playing that on uh your conquest galactus uh, again with orca which i think is just so strange i guess that's something that maybe you can play somebody if maybe you don't get your galactus that you know what Maybe you saved a lane for Galactus. I understand the Orca now, I guess, a little bit. You saved a lane for Galactus, you don't get it, and you want to play Orca. I don't know. I also, I know that Second Dinner is looking at America Chavez and they're a little concerned about her. I still, like, I get that it helps with consistency. I don't want to say thinning. I want to say consistency. And that, I don't know, I just hate that turn six where I get her and I'm like, I really don't want to play her. Like, come on. Hi, Eve, Cerebro 5. Is Cerebro 5 still really a thing? Okay, maybe, I guess. I could see that. Stagron. Stagron has a home. Poor guy. Move doing pretty well. That's probably just for Molt by himself. Hi, Evo. Snap deck. What is Snap deck over here? This is bounce some weird bounce shadow king all right uh i do it'd be nice if shadow king by the way was uh just your opponents versus your cards i mean because with angela here that makes me a little nervous but i don't know uh let's see Eliath ramp all right so all of these we saw the other ones i think these are all pretty solid the one i, I the one i was most surprised about was iron patriot i really maybe play a little galactus i think i might make a high evo deck to start playing with again i haven't played one in a long time do i like looking at these because you can kind of get into what is going on with everybody what is everybody doing and maybe i'm missing out on something because of what i'm playing versus others generally speaking i just try to have fun with it i'm not super stressed about like i gotta get this rank or anything like that and i highly recommend that for anybody who's just generally playing if you want to be competitive then have at it all right let's finish up with marvel snap zone again this is a premium option within their website i highly recommend checking out if it is in your budget this is something that you can do and use if you're having trouble on the daily to see what's happening and what's dominating. So we've got Cerebro 3 up at the top here. This doesn't have Ravana in it either. That is pretty tragic. We've got Bass, Jeff, Sentinel, Shadow King, Iron Man. Uh, yeah, I mean, Valkyrie, Mystique, all of the things, magic to extend. This is a pretty solid uh, Cerebro 3. I like the Killmonger to eventually take out your own Bass to give yourself some space back. These are all pretty good. I don't know if I'd necessarily play that per se. The average cubes is gigantic at 2.38. That is insane. The win rate's not bad at 55. Obviously, the game count's going to be much smaller because it's 24 hours. She not up here, up in the high Evo. We got Enchantress. We got Leech in there. Cosmo. That's pretty solid. I, I, I like what they're doing here. The average cube rate's a little bit lower, but the win rate's higher. I think as far, I, I don't know. I'm not sure between the two. I, I typically play these. 
Leech can really mess up your opponent. So I could see that causing the average cubes to be a little lower versus the Cerebro 3. But uh, because a lot of people might leave after they get leeched. But I think that's generally a good deck. G Legion. All right. That's just basically Galactus with Legion. I have not ever played or, nor seen this deck. The win rate is insane with 71 percent that is bonkers i'm looking at this i'm not sure why i've got legion in here outside of just general i mean maybe because you've got magic and you're just trying to mess with your opponent i could see that you've got forge to potentially put into anything you've got your absorbing man to forge and or wave i guess i don't know this one's a little weird i there's some things here i don't necessarily love i guess you could absorbing man your carnage and venom as well that makes sense that way, if you don't pull one of them, you could still Carnage and Venom this Nimrod. I, I do sort of like that. And same thing with the X-23. So, you know what? I take that back. I think there's some there's some stuff here that could be pretty nice. You get Null in there. We've got things happening. Infinites. How is this different than the one above it? Let's see. We've got Sunspot. Nebula added to this one. We ditched... No, we still have Magic. We add Jeff. We ditched Cosmo. No, we still have Cosmo. We ditched Cyclops, though, which is interesting. I guess maybe you're not expecting to want to ping someone as much. I don't know. The average cube rate's lower and the win rate's lower. So if I'm going to play one of these, I'm playing the top one. We've got a Patriot deck here at 59%. With Sur Iron Patriot. Okay, so this is a Surfer Patriot. Iron Surfer Patriot. This is an interesting deck as well. You've got the Brood, the Mojo. Wait, Mojo went up in here? This is interesting. So I've got the Surfer for what? I guess Brood, Brood, Punisher, Mystique, and Patriot, and Captain America. It's definitely interesting. The win rate and average cubes are okay. We got a Kitty Shuri. That's always a pretty good deck. I think still you got Ghost. Why do we have Ghost in this? Is there something? I guess maybe it's just so you don't get killmongered, but you've got an armor. So I feel like that's a little bit overkill. Maybe you just want to make sure. I don't know. Uh, Shang-Chi too, I guess. We'll see. Or, or even Taz taskmaster you want to be able to make sure that no that actually could hurt taskmaster because if your thing gets destroyed and you taskmaster it then you're sort of sol but maybe you save your kitty and that that's what you're copying so assuming your taskmaster is copying kitty from on turn six that's fine jane jaw really wow jane jaw i haven't seen this in forever jane jaw still doing some work one one cube per game 58 win rate all right so i think a lot of these are pretty solid let's see is there a sort by no we don't have any sorts or anything it just sort of like lists them that's something i think that uh marvel snap zone folks if you guys are checking this out i would like to have some sorts in here so that i can kind of see by win rate by average cube maybe even by games uh i, I might be missing it but i i don't see it in here where i can actually sort those it's nice that you've got the four collect my collection and everything i think that's pretty solid so what decks are you looking to play which ones are you thinking are meta where are these totally off do you think that they've nailed it are there any of these tools useful to you i hope they are i hope this video has been helpful if it has been I appreciate if you hammer down that like button. I appreciate you making it this far. If you want to share with your aunts, uncles, nieces, and nephews, giant thumbs up to that. Until next time, we hope you have a wonderful day.